I'll try to bite. No. I was reeling in to freaking get rid of this Ned rig as I went to speed it up. I got a bite and I like pulled it out of his mouth or something. Dang it. I might try a white. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try a white one. I have a weedless Ned rig on there. I wonder if that made me lose that bite. I don't know though. But we're gonna keep it on because there's a ton of rocks here. All right, there is what we're throwing. Let's try to get out of this wind. Oops, there's one. Oh, I pulled out his mouth. Are you kidding me, dude? I think it's that weedless. I don't know, man. If I lose one more fish, we're taking off that weedless barb. Dang it, dude. That's two fish I missed. I even set the hook on that one hard, too. The fish may have not just had it, but I felt three good tugs. Let's bounce it because that was on the fall. I was sitting here talking to y'all about moving, not working my lure, and that's when it took it. There's one. Yep, I just had to bounce it. Wish we didn't lose this one, right? Walleye. Walleye on the Ned rig. Thank you, buddy. There's one. That was a uh, back-to-back -back bites too. I'm just gonna bounce the Ned rig kind of like this. And uh, we'll see if we can get some more. They seem to, oh. That one's stuck, dang it. We have to go get that, sadly. Oh, weedless barb, you don't catch the fish and you don't even work. But of course, we're on rock, so. That's a rock, not a weed. It ain't no rock guard. I don't know what pound test this is. I'm pretty sure it's not very strong, maybe like eight. scary from a pole what the heck are we stuck on dude remember when i said soft still is really strong line yeah i wasn't kidding this stuff is no joke ah got it finally is there a tree right there and there's just a bunch of fish decked up there's definitely fish i had still have my ned rig sick thought for sure that was a goner like I said, guys, I freaking bent this hook out before breaking this like eight pound soft steel line. This line is so freaking strong. It's insane. Bend that back down. Might need some pliers, but yeah. There might be a tree right there, but there's a ton of fish on it, so I'm gonna cast. I was definitely on a rock right there, but in between the rock I was stuck on and here, there's like a big old tree. And I saw maybe like 30 fish on it, look like. I'm pretty sure I have really light line. It's eight or below if, I'm, if this is my Ned rig rod. So that's pretty crazy to bend out a hook instead of breaking the line. Guys, go check out Soft Steel if you need a line. SoftSteelUSA.com. Fighting harder. Oh, that was a nice, oh my God. That was a nice smallmouth. That one was way bigger than the little four and five inch guys we've been catching the last few days. Woo wee. Y'all see that guy jump? Dude, that was at least maybe this big. That was a decent smallmouth. Decent compared to the fish I've been catching the last few days. Like we've been catching a whole bunch of four or five inch dinks out here on minnows 
which is why I'm out here throwing a Ned Rig now to catch the smallmouth. And that guy was, I would have been stoked to catch that one. Dang it, dude. It freaking jumped right whenever I went to pull it out through the hook. That smallmouth tug, though, is awesome. Those guys are freaking feisty. Oh, I'm so bummed. There's more. There's a lot more fish right here, though. I may need to tighten my drag just a bit for the hook set. All right, we got a bunch of stuff under us. I'm just going to drop her straight down and bounce it and see what happens. Already? Definitely hit something. Oh, I'm so bummed, dude. I want to jig. I want to freaking jig a Ned Rig. Come on, let's cast it. Got one in front of the audience, which I do not like to do, but oh well. I had to set the hook. Keep driving, keep driving. Oh, they see me. They're looking so hard. He's still looking. This guy driving is not even paying attention. There it is. And this boat is slowing down. Get out of here, dude. Don't come in here. <laughs> I'll pee on your boat. That was the worst timing. I hate catching a fish when other boats are driving by. But another walleye. Yeah, buddy. About the same size as that first one. They're going into this cove right here next to me, which I'm okay with. They can be over there. Just don't come over here. There's literally three boats on this entire lake today because the wind's pretty strong. Well, it was supposed to be. I was expecting way worse winds out here, honestly. I mean, there is white caps out there, but not very big ones. The guy driving that boat literally was watching me from here to like way over here. He did not look forward once. <laughs> Uh, another 100 degree day it's freaking hot as balls oh i didn't set the hook fast enough what am i doing i got too confident felt it tug twice thought it was on took my time missed it Oh, what am I doing? There it is. What do we got? Walleye. Killing that with the walleye today. Oh, that guy came off easy. Chill, brother. Hey, hey. The quicker you chill, the quicker you're back in the cool water. Small guy. Thank you, dude. I freaking love Ned Rigs, man. I don't throw them enough. I don't throw lures enough. I need to throw it more, but I'm usually fishing with someone that's a complete noob. <laughs> Cole. <clears throat> and everyone around here likes to use the live minnows for bait because it works. Works really good in this lake. Works good in every lake, but whenever I get the boat to myself, that's when I come out here and throw lures. It's my favorite. I actually want to try something. I saw this in the video last night, actually. I was watching a video on worms and a guy put a worm on a Ned rig. So I want to try it. Come on, fish, what, you gotta turn off? It's only been like three casts. <laughs> Don't get one in two casts. What, the fish turn off or something? What is this crap? All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch to a worm. On the Ned Rig, which I've never tried before, but I saw a video to say to try it, so we're trying it, baby. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, trick worm red. Let's go for it. Actually, that looks but the small mop will go for something more natural, actually. And these are salty. That's, that's what we're going to try. All right, let's take off this white Ned rig. It did us good. And let's just casually throw on the worm. <laughs> All 
all right there it is i mean it's almost like a shaky head honestly not much different from a shaky head maybe this will catch us a bigger small mouth what do you guys think i don't know we'll see i really want to catch a fish on this ned rig and worm why am i fish on the back of the boat what the heck pro tip the back of the boat catches more fish no matter where you are i'm gonna throw around a crankbait for a bit see if we can wake them back up ow prick There's one on the crankbait. A little sand bass. What are you doing, guy? That bait is way too big for you, man. Oh, yeah. He, he caught all three hooks. Sorry, dude. Well, two. Uh -uh. No, sir. No, sir. Too many hooks flying around here for that. Little sand bass taking the crankbait. Probably a good time to rehydrate. Ah, yeah, bud. Like I said, I moved to the back of the boat and we caught the sand bass. I'm telling you guys, the back of the boat catches way more fish. All right, we're gonna try chatterbait. Let's go to a jerk bait. I'm gonna try a drop shot worm. I really wanna catch smallmouth. Ned rig almost caught me one. We'll definitely try that again. But right now I want to try drop shot. So let's pull that rod out. Oh drop shot, where are you? All right, so we have a blue worm on here right now. I'm gonna throw that around, but I kind of want to try that white Ned rig on the drop shot because they seem to really like that white plastic. But since this is already on, we're gonna throw this around for a bit. But it's too windy for a drop shot though to like truly work it how you're supposed to. All right, so it seems like all they really wanted today was the white Ned rig. We're gonna take off this plastic here, which is actual drop shot plastic. And we're gonna throw on this Ned rig plastic on this drop shot and see if that does anything. If we don't get bites on this, we'll go back to the normal Ned rig. Cause that's literally all I got bites on today besides that crankbait sand bass. I should try to slow roll it back in. Too windy to be working the slack. All right, apparently all they want today is a freaking Ned rig, Eads. So that's what we're going back to. We tried it all. I guess I did get a bite on a crankbait, but we're gonna try this worm once again. And then we're gonna go back to that white plastic because that's what they really liked. We're going back to what gets bites. Which is 
is not this worm on the Ned Rig. I would definitely try this again on a way calmer day, but too windy right now. Not very straight, but it'll do, pig, it'll do. Maybe. It might work. You want your Ned Rigs as straight as possible. If they start biting on this again, we probably just waste an hour of fishing and not catching anything because trying everything else. <laughs> I'm hidden behind this cove right here. If I go past this point, we're out there in the pretty bad wind and waves. The waves won't be too bad, but the wind will be. Come on, one more fish before we have to leave. Just want one. That one over stuck. Definitely stuck. Dang it. Well, I guess we'll just drift our way back. Casting this Ned Rig, see if we catch anything. I'm not calling it just yet. We're gonna go around to the other point and try this Ned Rig. See how it does over there. And then we'll call it. There we go. Another walleye. Chill, brother. Chill, brother. Man, where are the big ones at, dude? Not in these spots, that's for sure. Bloop! The bloop -a doop 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 doop. We need to make a Ned rig about this big so we can uh, catch a big walleye. <laughs> I don't think a Ned rig this big would be finesse anymore. I'm gonna go home and cry about that one smallmouth that we lost. That would have completed our mission. At least we caught one, right? But no, we had to get off at the boat. Holy crap, that was scary. <laughs> Woo -wee. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get off the lake. It's getting pretty bad. It was calm in this area. That's why I came out to this little wall right here because it was calm but it's way too windy now. Ah!